social justice warriors, or SJWs, are people, usually around college age, who fight for the rights of a given minority group. Often this is done in an extremely vehement and juvenile fashion, so SJWs have quickly become the group people love to hate. Political and social positions aside, however, there's a problem with these social justice warriors, one that renders them not only ineffective, but often quite absurd. The problem is best told in a parable, written by Plato in the Gorgias. One day a boy got very sick, and the local doctor came to visit him. The doctor told the boy that his sickness was curable, but the regimen would be intense. The boy would need to take bad-tasting medicine, avoid many of his favorite foods, and periodically go in for painful procedures. This all before modern anesthetics. With this difficult routine, the doctor told the boy full recovery was expected within a few months. Just days into his time with the doctor, though, the boy was visited by the town baker. Don't listen to the doctor, the baker said. I know how to make you feel better, and with much less pain, too. Simply eat my tasty baked goods, three sweet rolls and a chocolate cake every day, and you'll feel better in no time. This option seemed much more reasonable to the boy, and he switched treatments immediately. At first, because his spirits were up, the treatment seemed to be working. But before long, things started to decline. Keep with it, said the baker. This is a much better way. Like any good doctor, the doctor dropped in to check on the boy, see if his treatment was working. When he found the boy far worse, he tried to persuade him to return to his care. But what could the doctor say? He told the boy that his way was better for him, that he would be thankful in the future when he was living and healthy, that a little pain now was far better than great pain later. He tried to convince the boy that while the baker's remedy felt good, it was not helping him at all. But to a child, tasty treats will always seem preferable to painful procedures. The dichotomy between the doctor and the baker is used to illustrate the difficulty of choosing what is good over what feels good. How does this relate to SJWs? Well, it exposes the tendency passionate people often have to elevate a cause over virtue. It's easy to get outraged over perceived injustice. It's easy to get angry and yell at people you disagree with. It's easy to pigeonhole and write people off. What's not easy is to be patient, to listen, to be gracious when people disagree with you, to bless those who persecute you. And those things that are not easy happen to be the things that make you a good person. Virtue is not defined by what you support or what you're against, but with what you say and do. This is the work of the doctor, the hard, painful work of being a good person. Outrage, meanness, and hatred are easy, just like eating cake, but they are good for nothing. A good example of this is the impact of Martin Luther King and the nonviolence movement. Here were people who were fighting for something good, yet did not see the goal as something worth sacrificing virtue for. And these members of the civil rights movement will be remembered in history as virtuous people. Can the social justice warriors say the same?